Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. I'm super excited to be stamping with you tonight. I know a lot of you have been waiting for me to come on and I really appreciate that. Thank you. I have some people popping in now. Remember, if you're watching this live, you can click on that share button. That really helps me out. Um, if you're watching later on YouTube, please click on the share button too. And then there's a bell you can ring up at the top of the screen someplace. That's always appreciated. I just appreciate your guys' um, interaction with me. And um, clicking on those share and like buttons is really helpful. So thank you so much. I have some really cool cards to show you tonight. I'm going to do a wiper card um, with a cool technique. I'm also going to do um, a collar card, which is really fun, and a neat layout. Oh, you know what? I just remembered. I forgot something on my neat layout, so hang tight. I'm going to grab my baker's twine and put it in that bin so I don't forget this part because it's super, super cute. Mm, right there. Okay, good. We're good. You know how things just randomly pop into your head like BAM? Well, maybe they don't do that to your head, but they do in mine. Like, oh, I forgot the baker's twine on the really cool layout card. <laughs> so today, um, I spent most of the day, well, I shouldn't say that. I, I was supposed to spend most of the day in my office, in my studio here, but, um, I'm a procrastinator and I have a million things I need to get done before I leave for on stage. And uh, Stampin' Up! has on stage events all over the world this coming weekend. And it's always fun to go to a Stampin' Up! event. I am going to actually be leaving Tuesday evening to go to my mom's house and stay overnight with her so I can get an early start to Minneapolis on Wednesday morning where I have to pick up my two besties. Two of my besties, I have a lot of besties. Two of my besties at the airport in um, Minneapolis. And then we're gonna be doing some work. We're gonna be working on training programs for our teams and um, having fun, lots of fun to be had. Even when we're working, we're always having fun. But um, so I've been a little challenged to get a whole bunch of work done in just a couple days. So I probably have a week's worth of work to do and I need to have it done by Tuesday and have time to pack and leave. But I am a huge procrastinator and apparently that works good for me because I always follow through and end up getting done what I need to get done most of the time. But um, yeah, so today I spent a little time cleaning the house. I vacuumed, I dusted, I cleaned the bathrooms. And um, I did it because one of my team members was coming over <laughs> and she was bringing her boyfriend. So I'm one of those people that my house needs to be clean if people are coming over, right? And I didn't feel right about asking Steve to do it. So I did a little bit of cleaning and Steve got to take his bike out for a ride today. It was like almost or 70 degrees here I don't know exactly but it was really nice out before it started raining so he got to go for a bike ride and I was really happy for him um so that's been my day we spent Friday night at a dance recital for my stepdaughter Anna's girls and oh my gosh Molly Jo the little one you guys see with me in pictures she comes over here a lot um she stole the whole show it was incredible she was, uh, it was uh, probably a hip hop routine and they had her come down in the front and then she, what did she do? She laid on her stomach and then brought her legs up over and touched the floor with them. And then she did a flip and she did a somersault and the whole crowd was like, woohoo! And it was just so precious. So we went to that Friday night and then Saturday night, Andy and Molly were both in that. And then Saturday night, we picked Andy and Molly up and took them down about 50, 60 miles south of here because my stepdaughter Stephanie's son, AJ, was in the musical Footloose for his high school performance. And oh my gosh, you guys, it was just amazing. The kids did such a good job. So I had a lot of away time this weekend, which isn't real normal for me because I'm kind of stick around a lot. Well, I 
travel a lot too, but when I'm home, I'm usually working. So, um, Jenny Miller's coming to Minneapolis. I hope you get to meet me too, Jenny. Make sure you come up and tell, say hi to me. I've had a few people contact me that are going to Minneapolis and I'm excited to meet them. So that'll be fun. So yes, yeah, so I'm leaving Tuesday evening, which, um, like I said, presents some problems. I've got an online class coming out at the end of next week that I need to get done before I leave so I can work on editing videos and, and typing up the whole online class, stuff like that. I've got a blog hop this coming Thursday. Spring is our theme, so watch for that. I am hoping to get my Wednesday tip video done and also my Friday feature video. I don't know about that. It might have to just be the Thursday blog hop. There'll be a video in there too. And um, yeah, Mary Olson says, what a hunk. I did post some pictures on my Facebook page. I think that's what she's referring to. AJ does. He looks so old. It was just shocking when I saw the pictures. Um, so anyways, I've got a lot of fun stuff coming up. Now, I am going to be away next weekend. Like, I won't be home until Monday. And with everything I have on my plate and leaving so early, I'm really not thinking I'm going to be, be doing my regular... Facebook Live, not live, for when I'm gone. We'll just have to see. Um, if I do get it done, it'll be a nice surprise, but please don't count on it. So I probably won't be live next Sunday night. You'll have to catch me again on the 21st. I will be back then. Carla Adams is coming to Minneapolis. Please make sure you stop by and say hi if you see me. I would love that. Um, what do we have going on? So, Oh, I know. I was going to check out the Stampin' Up da, 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 website to see if we had any issues going on there. Um, first of all, I forgot to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. So if somebody calls me while I'm live, which happens once in a while, uh, um, please don't anybody call me. But if somebody calls me while I'm live, it'll kind of put the video on pause until I can get the button pushed to say, you know, delete, stop, don't do that. Um, I do have my phone plugged in, so we're good there. And um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about, we have the new storage from Stampin' Up. Uh, my order's coming. I did not expedite it, which I usually do, but I didn't this time. And so mine's on my way. So I don't have it in real life to show you, but... I wanted to let you know that this cube right here, we have depleted our inventory of this empty cube. So um, we do have more coming in. I think it'll be available. I think I saw a date of July 1st. So just know that that has been, what's going on with my hair? That has been depleted. Hang on, I'm looking kind of weird here and I have a piece of hair in my, tickling my nose. There, okay, it's, it's all good. My crown is straight. <laughs> Um, so, wanted to let you know about that, but this storage stuff has been crazy, crazy popular, like, um, everybody's getting storage, and I ordered a whole bunch of these components. I am planning on using the Stampin' Blend one, the ink pad ones, the empty ones, the re-inkers go on the top, so I can't hardly wait to show you that in real life, and I will as soon as I get it and have time to get everything um, organized in it, so that'll be cool. The other thing I want to tell you about is don't forget the in colors that are retiring. We have, um, let me look at my drawer here. We have Berry Burst, Fresh Fig, Lemon Lime Twist, Powder Pink, and Tranquil Tide all going to be on the retirement list. You don't want to miss out on getting extra packs of cardstock or re inkers for your ink pads if you have them. So please don't forget about that. And I really encourage you to do it sooner rather than later. I had somebody ask me if. Once the retirement list comes out, are those products discounted? Yeah, no, they usually aren't. And they usually go bam, like that, and they're gone. So um, I hope that you will order early. I have a host code for you once I turn my camera around. If you do plan on placing an order for me, I always appreciate that. <laughs> um, use that host code if your order's under $150. It's a great time to stock up on some of this stuff. And was it Rhonda that just said Lemon Lime Twist? Um, yeah, I'm going to really miss Lemon Lime Twist. But you know what? Thank goodness we have Granny Apple Green. Because although it's not as bright as Lemon Lime Twist, it's close that it, it has become kind of my new favorite. I'm going to pull you guys up on my screen here so I can see your comments better once I turn you around. 
and I have a bunch of cards to share with you. I have prizes to give away. Yeah, I wish they were I wish they were keeping lemon lime twist too. Thank you for the share, Sarah. Anybody who came on after I said if you could click on that share button, I really appreciate it. I think there's some type of a button called a watch party too. I'm not sure if that watch party is when people, when I'm live or if it's after the fact. So regardless, if you see that watch party button, click on that and see what happens because that sounds like a lot of fun. I'm not really sure exactly how it works, but it sounds like it's going to be um, kind of a cool thing. Okay, here we go. I have my video up. I'm going to make it bigger so I can see your comments here. Got some hearts floating in. Thank you. Always love the hearts. Okay. <clears throat> sharing is what I do, right? So I wanted to share this beautiful card with you. This is a fun fold. Look at that. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? I know, right? Um, I need to use this stamp set. I've got another whole set of cards to show you using this stamp set too. But this was from one of my team members and my good friend Sarah. Simon and she just wanted to thank me for sharing so much and she made a card out of this fun fold idea for her stamp club So she sent me one Love it, Sarah. It's absolutely gorgeous and then I Got this beautiful card. Isn't that fun? This is from Betty Whitmore Betty is a customer out of Holly, Michigan, and she is just the sweetest person ever and um, I sent her a set of um, framelits that belonged with the Celebration uh, cupcake set because, you know, we ran out of them and I wouldn't be using them anymore. And I knew that she had had those on her list and wanted to get them. And um, she has been so wonderful and she's placed several orders with me. So I just decided to um, share and pay it forward and I sent those to her and she actually called me and said she was almost in tears how sweet is that right like does that not make my day it like totally made my day so beautiful beautiful card from Betty thank you Betty that was just so sweet of you then I got another really pretty card remember we talked about the Kathy Sheldon's I have two customers named Kathy Sheldon that live in Appleton and it's always hard to keep them straight but um, the Kathy Sheldon that won last week sent me this pretty card and it was a thank you card for the stamp set that she won so thank you Kathy that was really sweet and then I have Terry Sampson from St. Michael Minnesota oh this is a pretty one isn't that pretty? I love the gingham paper and of course the butterflies is fantastic with that butterfly gala set. And um, Terry sent me a card that just said she was super excited to see her name on the Sunday Facebook Live and to get fun stuff in the mail rather than bills. What's <laughs> really cool for her. And um, thank you. Thank you for sharing. That's what she wanted to tell me. So thank you so much, Terry. This is really cool. Now, I have some, um, I got a gift in the mail this week that I need to share with you. Oh, what is this? I got notes everywhere, you guys. Like, it's note city here. Uh, they're everywhere. But I got, look at this notebook. Be a pineapple, stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. And isn't that sweet? And this is just like a little journal. And I love these things because I'll keep them by my desk and I'll write notes in them. And they're just really fun. This comes to me from Linda Bunce, and Linda is also one of my team members. Linda's very talented, and she's made some super cute stuff for me that I've shared with you guys. Um, Linda held a class. She lives in Arizona, and she held a class, and I have to show you these cards because they're just stinking adorable. i got to get them out of the box, so hang on here. She sent them to me in this cute little box. Well, it's, it's a... Um, it's a pre-made box that she sent them in and we've got some really pretty envelopes and remember I said that they were this used the same stamp set that the card Sarah sent me but I got to show that one last so here's the first card and isn't that just gorgeous absolutely beautiful here's the second card gorgeous right here is the third card. 
Isn't that just fun? Card number four. And this one. This is too funny. I laughed my butt off. Does this make my butt look big? <laughs> Who wouldn't laugh if they got that? It says, nah, you're just flocking fabulous. <laughs> I laughed and laughed. I thought that is just so adorable. Now I know somebody's gonna ask me, where did she get this stamp from? And she printed it out on her computer. It's not a stamp, but it was just so adorable. Now, Linda shared with me, this was actually a one sheet wonder from um, a six by six. And she shared the pattern or the template with me and I think I will be sharing this with you in the future. So I'm excited. I asked Linda if I could do with that. She said, do that with her um, six by six template and she said absolutely. So I'm gonna keep this stuff close so that I do not lose track of it so I can do that for one of my Facebook Lives. I think that'll be really fun. Okay, you guys, um, it is time to give out prizes. Now, I have four gifts this week that I am actually going to give out. And um, hi, Travis. <laughs> what are you doing watching my stamping show? Um, the first one are some of the um, frosted flower embellishments. These are just so fun, you guys. And these clear ones, you can color those with our Stampin' Blend alcohol markers and make them any color that you have. Our first winner is Kathy Ty, T-Y-E. And Kathy, I do not have your location or address. So if you could please message me with that, that would be awesome so that I can um, send you your gift. You have two weeks to claim your prize. And Vicki asked if I got a new crown. Oh no, this is my tiara. This is the one I always wear. I take good care of it. So um, congratulations, Kathy Ty. And then our next winner, that was for commenting, for sharing my video. Our next winner is Brooke Van Buskirk. And Brooke is from Menasha, Wisconsin. Brooke, you're gonna get this Settles folder. I love this and I'm actually, um, we're using it, or I have a card that I'm gonna show you tonight that uses this folder. So congratulations and thank you guys for everybody who shares my video, I so appreciate it. And last, we've got Donna Phillips of Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I have a Let It Ride stamp set for you. So this is for placing an order in the last week with me. I so appreciate that, that's what keeps me in business and keeps these free videos coming your way. So thank you so much. Just gonna set those back there so I don't lose them and I'll put my cards back here too. I think, unless um, you guys want me to do something else, I think it's time to stamp. What do you think? I'm ready. Okay. Um, what are we gonna start with first? I think we'll start with the really fun layout card. So I'm just gonna unload my basket here. What are you guys drinking tonight? What's in your cup? Let me know, I wanna know. Inquiring minds wanna know what you're drinking. I am drinking um, strawberry lemonade infuser, which is part of my plan. Oh, and I have to tell everybody that I am down 22. 22 pounds. Hi, Christine. I'm down 22 pounds as of today. So, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that. This Optavia, I know somebody's going to say, well, what plan are you doing? I'm doing the Optavia plan. And if you're interested in um, any information on that, let me know because I have a coach. It comes with a coach. We do a Zoom conference call um, once a week. And, um, She's fabulous, so if you want information on it, send me a private message, I'll hook you up with Bev, and she can tell you all about it. It's, uh, it comes with food, but you just eat one, and lean, one lean and green meal once a day. And um, I, so far, so, so far so good. Okay, I'm gonna flip my camera around now so that we can start stamping. And um, you guys know once I flip my camera around, it's hard for me to see your comments. I have to look at my laptop and stamp and try and remember what's in my head to come out of my mouth. 
<laughs> so if I miss one of your questions, keep asking until I see it, okay? Just be relentless. I promise I won't get like annoyed or anything, but it's so hard to, it's so hard to do all the things, right? Okay, we're gonna flip around. Let me move one of my lamps here because it's kind of in my way. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes now. And I'll let you know when you can open them up. Let, let me get everything situated here. I have to unmirror my phone. There we go. Okay, this is my host code right now. Once in a while, that host code changes during the month. So you'll always find it in the right-hand column of my blog. And this is my blog address. So you just go right there, look for the online ordering button. The host code is down below it. You'll have all the info. Use this host code if your order is under $150 because... Um, if it's over $150, don't use it. You'll get your own Stampin' Rewards. And the Stampin' Rewards is how I am able to give away um, the stamp set and the embossing folder and the embellishments each week. So that's what I use it for, is to um, give away stuff. So that's really fun for everybody, right? Okay, here we go. Now, Christine was here today. I told you guys I had... Um, somebody come over and she was here to try out my new paper cutter which is a great big industrial paper cutter and um, I hadn't got I, I hadn't used well I tried to use it but I couldn't get it to work and I didn't have time to deal with it because I was so busy this week so anyways Christine came over with her boyfriend and they had watched some videos and they figured out how to get it to work the only thing that was wrong with it is um, the handle needs to go further back than up against the wall. It's sitting on the counter right now, and it, it needed to go further back to release a safety mechanism. So we got that all figured out. Christine cut a whole bunch of cardstock today. She was a happy camper, and I can't hardly wait to start. I'm going to be doing some new classes coming up, and the classes will include card kits. Yay! Who's excited about that? I'm really excited. Okay, I have balmy blue here, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. You just saw me burnish that edge. Got a piece of four by five and a quarter uh, whisper white for the inside. Oh, and look it, did you guys see my new nails? Yeah, yay. So um, I had some lady one time leave me a message on my YouTube channel because I was talking about, somebody asked me some questions about my nails and we were kind of talking about that. And she said, is this like, supposed to be a craft show or is it supposed to be a nail show and I, I was like really she goes blah 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 like are you kidding me right now so anyways it's my show and I can talk about my nails if I want thank you very much <laughs> four by five and a quarter balmy blue and then we've got um uh, Sahara sand this is three and a quarter by three and a quarter and then I'm using the Needlepoint Nook Designer Series Paper 3x3, three three, a scrap of balmy blue, and oh, here's another of the Needlepoint Nook. This is 3 quarters by 4, scrap of vellum, scrap of balmy blue, and 3 quarters by nah, whatever you need the size, the length to be for the greeting we're going to put on this Whisper White layer. Then I've got some of our flax ribbon. And before we go too much further, I want to show you, this is the Needlepoint Nook designer series paper it is absolutely gorgeous you've got the fun colors on the back side and then these beautiful needlepoint designs on the other side I love this paper and this just really reminds me of cactuses so I'm thinking I need to make one of the little cactus cards called flowering desert that stamp set using this paper so I love that the paper can go with other things, not just the Needlepoint Nook bundle, right? Okay. <laughs> Vicki says there are an awful lot of negative people these days. They need to get a life. They need to adjust their attitude a little bit. I'm sure, you know, she was probably having a bad day, but taking it out on me just really wasn't the best idea because, well, it's just not nice, right? Okay, hang on, I'm looking for something. I'm not quite sure what, so I'm just going to come back here and mind my own business. I don't know. I was looking for something, but then I lost my train of thought. <laughs> Squirrel! <laughs> yeah, that happens a lot. Okay, Night of Navy Ink. I am going to... Oh, I know. I wanted to show you guys this little tip. So, I'm using this Get Well Soon stamp. That's what I was going to grab. 
Get Well Soon comes in the needle and thread stamp set. This is a really cool stamp set, you guys. I think that um, it's one of those little jewels that people are not seeing a lot in the catalog. They don't see, sometimes it's hard to see all the opportunity with a stamp set until people start using it. I know that's the case for me, like especially that Let It Ride with the horse set. I didn't think I needed that and then I finally broke down and ordered it and then I've made some really cool cards with it. So I thought, you know, this Get Well Soon fits perfect on this little block here, right? So I should put it on this size of a block and I should stamp it on here. But what I found as I was trying to get this stamped straight four times is that it's really kind of hard because it fills up the whole block. It's hard for me to see to get it straight. So after four times, and you know, I'm a slow learner, <laughs> on my fourth try, I went, you know what? I'm going to put it on a bigger block and see if that doesn't work better for me. And sure enough, it did. Whoops, I'm going to put this in the middle. It worked so much better for me than the small block because the edges of the block, the stamp was just a little bit too big and it was magnifying. They kind of magnify um, when you're looking through them and it was really distorting where I was trying to get that stamp in. So if you find a stamp that's doing that, put it on a bigger block. That'll be a lot easier for you to use. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to do, nope, this is not, is this big enough? Look, I just got ink all over. How do I manage to do that? Like, we all do it, don't we? So I can't decide whether I want to do a get well card or a little happy birthday card. So I'm going to do both here. This is just a strip the same size. Isn't that cute? Now, this stamp is coming from the um, Made to Bloom card kit. And the kit is a great um, great product first of all for a beginner because it comes with an ink spot the stamp set and that's where that just a little happy birthday to you comes from but this is a fabulous card kit so I wanted to let you know where that's coming from depending on which one I want to use so I brought in you can use your scissors to flag your ends here but I brought in my triple banner punch and I'm just going to pull that so I'm not punching off too much here and do that. And then we're going to put it in here again. And sometimes I like to turn it over and make sure that I have it in here straight. So I'm kind of guiding, you know, looking at the guides to make sure that it's going to punch straight. And look at how, look at how crooked that one is. So we're not using that. <laughs> yeah. Some days are better than others. There we go. And I think we're going to have another birthday card. Does that look straight? No, look how crooked, look how crooked I held it. Sometimes you got to lick your finger a little bit too to help it slide around. There we go. That's going to be nice. Okay, that looks great. All right. Now, we have some things to do here. I am going to punch one of these little butterflies boom, and then I'm going to punch a big butterfly out of the vellum I actually got both but I only needed one and I'm going to use a mini glue dot <clears throat> excuse me yeah if somebody is having um, blurriness on their screen right now it's your internet service is not streaming as fast as it should to watch um, this video and just stick with us watch along it might get a little better but if you find that it's hard to see things and you want to go back once I've posted the video you should be able to watch it without it being blurry so, because it's not blurry on my end here, and I have a pretty high-powered internet. All right, so look at that. Isn't that pretty? I put a pearl on there, mini glue dot to attach that. Now I'm going to pull out some, yeah, mini dimensionals. Oh, here they are. I'm like, where did they go? Just one little mini dimensional, and now our butterfly is ready to go. We are going to... 
glue this three by three square to the Sahara sand layer. And then here, okay, so I told you I was gonna tell you a funny story about this ribbon. <laughs> so I completely ran out of this ribbon. Like I have an, a roll on order, so it's coming with my next order, but I wanted some for tonight. So I had three of these baskets and I ripped the handles off of them so I could have enough ribbon to make samples. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes we have to do some crazy things to make things work, right? <laughs> okay, I am going to trim this ribbon just like this, okay? Then I'm gonna grab a piece of tape. I'm gonna put that on the back of my ribbon, just like that. And then I'm gonna bring this. Now you gotta make sure if you're using this particular designer series paper, and I hope you are, <laughs> Um, you want to make sure your butterflies are flying the right way before you add this. Okay, there we go. Then, the one thing I forgot to do to all my samples, which was one of the cutest things of the card, I don't know what I was thinking, was a baker's twine bow. Like, I forgot that part. I'm thinking. I've got our Knight of Navy Baker's Twine. I'm going to wrap it three times here around my bow jig, under, over, and tie in a single knot. My friend Denise is coming home from Arizona this week. So she was supposed to come back last week, but they changed their plans. So um, if anybody has asked me for a bow jig prior to today, like in the last week and a half, please just pop me an email. My email address is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at a stampabub.com. If you've emailed me previously, I cannot take the time to go back and search for those emails. Um, if you've messaged me on Facebook, um, I need your email address, so you need to email me so I can keep everything in one place, and that's the easiest way for me to pass your information on to her if you're looking for information on the Bojig. Oh my gosh, look at how stinking adorable that is. We didn't even do anything to it yet, and it's so cute, right? Oh, um, Vicki wants to know how far apart the holes are. So these two are an inch apart. So there's an inch here and then half inch on each side. That's it. Inch, half inch. So super easy. Anybody can make one. Um, I actually have a drill. I used to keep it here in my office, but when I kind of cleaned things up, I moved it um, into the basement hallway. But um, yeah, just a drill and a chunk of wood, and you can have yourself a bow jig. So we're going to put our happy birthday right there. Is that not already so cute? Look at how cute that is. Oh, Melanie, don't worry about being late. You can always go back and watch the replay. <gasps> Look at how stinking cute that is. Okay, now. Um, where did my, here's my embossing folder. So I couldn't decide which embossing folder to use. I couldn't decide if I wanted Pinewood Planks, here's our Subtles folder, or the Tufted folder, which is also really cool. So I decided to make them in all of it. I used all of them. I made three cards. So here's the Pinewood Planks. Isn't that just fun? We're going to glue this to our card front. I can find it here. Here we go. Add this, and then I'll show you the other ones with the other embossing folders. And then we need big dimensionals here. Oops, we got two. Now, if you're new to me, or maybe you missed this in a previous video, if you have trouble getting the backing off of these, stick your fingernail in the middle and press down on the dimensionals because it kind of pushes the edges up and allows you to grab a hold of them better. Sometimes they're easier than others, but that'll help you if you're having trouble. Are you ready for all this deliciousness? Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Is that not just the cutest little layout? I love the little tails here and the bow. And then of course the butterflies and the greeting that comes from the Made to Bloom card kit comes with a stamp set and everything you need except your scissors and adhesive to make all these beautiful cards. Then we have to do something with the inside. And the thing that I decided to do with my inside 
was to add this little strip and again make sure that your butterflies are right side up here because these butterflies go only one way on this designer series paper and grab my scissors oh hang on somebody's okay trying to keep up on my on my comments here at least my, I think my screen is scrolling properly yep it is I don't know why it doesn't do that all the time it's so maddening right and just about the time everything starts working good Facebook will change something and then we'll start all over again not knowing what we're doing <laughs> they like to keep us on our toes like that <gasps> look how cute that is you guys okay I have one more thing I want to do to this card um, the needle point or the needle and thread stamp set comes with these cute little butterflies. It also has this little outline stitched butterfly, but I thought that these little butterflies would look really cute, like right in here. What do you think? Don't get that. Um, look at, I just got ink on there, but I'm going to leave it. It's going to be fine. My people will understand, right? Oh. I gotta clean this stamp because we're gonna use it again. There we go. If you guys don't have one of these chamois, oh my goodness, they are the best for cleaning your stamps. And you just take it and rinse it in water. No chemicals, no, you don't have to buy anything else, just the chamois. And you can find that in my store if you just do a search for chamois. They are the bomb. Like I'm not just saying that because I sell them. Um, I will never tell you that I like something if I don't like it, even if I sell it. Okay, you'll just never see me use things that I don't work good for me. But the chamois is a must-have. Must, must-have. <laughs> Vicki said I can send it to her. Well, that is so sweet of you, Vicki. Thank you. You'll take my little blotch there. Yeah, cute, cute, cute. Okay, so I just really loved this layout. And I got this idea from Christine, who's watching tonight. Um, she stopped by today to try out my big paper cutter. I got this from her, the layout, um, and I think she got it from a trip we made to Michigan. So, you know, it just goes all over the place. Now, I said that I would show you some others. This is the Get Well Soon, and I use the Subtles embossing folder here. And isn't that just so pretty? And then this one uses the Tufted embossing folder. Yeah, so I think they all three look great. And you can do this in other colors with other paper, of course, but I really love this layout. And then I took those little butterflies and put them on my envelope. So when I mail this to somebody, they're going to have like this little flutter of butterflies. Yeah, cute, right? Okay, let's move these aside so we can get on with our next project. Hang on here while I kind of get some stuff put away. So, um, what did you guys do this weekend? I'm just packing up. You can, you know, type in something. What What was your What was your big thing on your weekend? Did you just enjoy and relax? Did you go someplace? Like we went to the musicals, which was really fun. What did you guys do? I always like to hear what everybody's up to. We didn't freeze to death here in Wisconsin, so <laughs> that was a blessing. <laughs> yeah, never know what's going to happen there. Okay, here comes my next card. This is going to be our collar card. And I've got a couple different variations to show you. I like to do that. I like to give you options here. Ouch. And let's put that away. Okay, here comes our cardstock layers. We have Crushed Curry, five and a half by eight and a half. And then here comes all our little pieces. Again, I'm using the Needlepoint Nook Designer Series Paper. Well, oh, somebody else went to a dance recital. Peggy did some work for the National Guard. Awesome. Um, Lori Schwint did her taxes. Lori, I did my taxes too. And that, I was up till I don't know what time this morning doing taxes. But I have them done and I have an appointment tomorrow at 10 a.m. Please keep your fingers crossed for me, everybody. Because tax season is not one of my favorite times. <laughs> 
kind of a hateful thing. It's necessary. I'm not begrudging anybody the money that I have to pay, but oh my gosh, sometimes it's not pretty. Okay, this piece is actually four and a quarter, whoops, four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm gonna take our card base of crushed curry, and I chose that because it's one of the colors in this pretty paper. Hope you guys can see the detail. Like all of these images are um, needlepoint, like they're real. Stampin' Up like took a picture of uh, a piece of artwork embroidery and then made paper out of it. So I love that they do that. Okay, the first thing I want to do is I want to do a little embossing on my card base. And I'm going to show you how I did that. So let me move some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, these are the Needlepoint Element Framelits. And while you can look at these all you want, I have these, which are a lot more fun. <laughs> so I die cut everything, stamped and die cut everything. Look at this. This just does the stitching. It just, um, you run it through just like a framelit that you would cut with, only it just does stitch marks. So we've got these, this label, and this. And then here's all the beautiful images in there. And they're our distinctive stamping. They look like they're real. And I love that type of stamping. Okay, so let me get that put away. I'm going to bring my big shot in. So I can show you something really cool that I just kind of found out today. You know how you... Well, two things actually about this card that were new to me today. I didn't even realize. Now, I'm going to open up my card base again. And I'm going to take this framelit that has like the little loop-de-loops in it. And I'm going to start on one side. Now, when I did my sample card, I started in the middle. And I have to say that it made it a little trickier. So now I'm gonna start over on the side and I think that's just a better idea. You would think that starting in the middle would be the best idea, but mm, not so much. And this is why I do things ahead of time. <laughs> So that it's like, oh, I'll have to tell everybody not to do that. But you can do this. Okay, so I just ran that through. And one of the things I was really worried about is I wanted this to run all the way across the bottom of my card. And I'm like, oh, how am I going to get that to match up so it doesn't look like a disaster? Well, you overlap at least one of these. And you can feel it pop right into place. So I'm going to actually overlap two of them so I can keep this going straight across my card. Does everybody understand what I'm saying? So I'm going to overlap these two and they're going to pop right into place. And you can feel it pop right in there where it belongs. And I've got a little piece of washi tape on here to hold my die in place, but it really does stay there by itself. And we're going to do this again. And then we're going to do this one more time. Look at it. Isn't it cool? And again, now you have to be careful. You don't want your dye to be hanging off over here and get all bent up and destroyed. So I'm going to have to kind of pull this in. I'm going to overlap three of these this time so I can get it through my machine the right way. And I can feel it. There, there it went. It popped. You might have heard it. It popped right into place. Make sure that that's inside your cutting plates. If you guys have ever destroyed a die, <laughs> as I'm sure most of us have, um, it's a really like heartbreaking situation. I know. Like You could almost cry, right? Okay, look at how cute that is. So, we've got two different dies that do that. Let me grab this card again. We've got the loop de loop de one, and then we've got these little, like, I don't know, ovally looking things. But they're super cute, too. All right, now let's continue on. Let me get this out of the way. My crown keeps trying to fall off. Okay, hang on, I gotta take a drink. Oh, that's good stuff. I ran out of my um, strawberry lemonade. It's a calorie, oh, what do they call it? Um, infuser it makes uh, it's a calorie burner that's what it is uh, so I think it helps you burn calories 
I ran out of it and I was without it for like three days. Oh my gosh, I thought I was going to just fall asleep. Okay, this is our five and a half by four and a quarter inch layer. And what you want to do is you want to find the middle of that. So I know that the middle is at two and three quarters. And then I'm going to cut up about an inch and a half. Now you don't have to get too crazy. You can get your ruler out if you want to. But this is going to go all the way up to about an inch and a half. And then you're going to take these sides and make sure that this point right here comes out to a point. And you're going to fold this. And then I'm going to burnish it good with my bone folder. And next I'm going to do this. Same thing, sharp point up to the fold line. Isn't that cool? We're gonna put this on the front of our card. And, whoops, just gonna add some glue. This right here, it's going to cover the whole front of your card. I didn't leave any margin around the edge. And I just love how easy it was to pick out the color because we've got crushed curry in here, we've got crushed curry here. Then what I decided to do, I've got Poppy Parade, which is the flowers in here. So again, I just took these colors right off of the Designer Series paper pack. On the back of it, it tells you all the coordinating colors that go with the pack of paper. I'm going to take my um, embossing buddy and I'm going to rub that all over my layer. I've got a hair in there. I don't know where that's coming from. And then I've got my paper here. Oh, and I took my Versamark for the next card we're making. So let me grab that. Here we go. Yeah, there's going to be more embossing. <laughs> I'm going to take the friend stamp. And I'm going to stamp it right here. This again is from the needle point and um, needle and thread stamp set, a white embossing powder. I'm gonna pour this on here. I'm gonna heat set this, and then I'm gonna bring in this little framelit, and I'm gonna run this through the big shot, and of course. Um, oh, I didn't need that. I've already got that done here. I've heat set my embossing powder. I ran it through and it just does those little stitches. So let me get this out of the way so I can show you the other really cool thing that I found about this stamp set. Don't you love it when you just find something that's like, oh my gosh, I had no idea. Maybe I knew this at some point, but I had forgotten about it. This is our pretty label punch, and I just looked at the end. Yeah, thank you. I think Kathy's the one who made me my labels. So I just looked at it. What is this called? Pretty label punch. This fits perfectly around that particular die that just cut the little stitching. So look at how cool that is. I didn't know that, or if I did know it, I forgot. So pre-label punch matches the die that comes with this bundle. Okay, so we've got our friend here. And I'm going to take some dimensionals. Hang on, i got all kinds of little bags laying all over, getting in my way here. I'm going to take some dimensionals. I'm going to do one here, one here, one here. Now, this may seem like a lot of dimensionals, but it's going to kind of actually help hold down my designer series paper. So that's why I've got so many on here. Okay, so um, I think I'm going to go, yep, I'm going this way. I'm going to do this, put this right in here, and then I want to use the Old Olive Baker's Twine. This is with this bundle. It's part of the suite of products with the Needlepoint Nook. So we have linen thread, and oh, this is, um, this is, Old Olive Linen Thread. And I'm gonna do this three times. And we're gonna cross that over, up and over, and single knot it right here in the front. Hang on, my crown is falling down. It's gonna go right in my eyes. I'm gonna have to take the crown off. I don't know why, It's maybe my head is too skinny now. <laughs> oh, hi, Steve. 
Yeah, Steve cleaned some brakes in his car. He um, got my truck all fixed and it is running and I love it and I'm so happy to have it back and I can honestly say it has more heat in it now than it has ever had in its entire life. So the heater is working fabulously. I was so glad to have it back even though it's kind of a wreck. I really like having my own vehicle and I like the fact that I don't need to worry about driving his, you know, car and somebody like backing into it or something. Oh, that's terrible when stuff like that happens and you're not even using your own vehicle. So way to go, Steve. Yeah, brakes are almost as important as my stamping. Okay, so I just curled my ribbon here. Isn't that cute? I've got one more card to show you using the same layout, but I did it um, in a, a landscape portrait. I did it in landscape mode. Okay, so I'm going to just put this little strip. This is three quarters of an inch by four. This is just a little strip left over from my designer series paper. This is just another way to use all those strips so you're not wasting them. And then do I have, yep, I have Poppy Parade. I decided I did want to put um, a greeting on the inside. Hang on, I'm going to grab my black Memento ink here. And I'm going to do the people like you make the world a better place. And I love that greeting. Isn't that sweet? And then, remember those little butterflies? Where did they go? They're here somewhere. Did you guys, do you guys see the little butterflies? Like, I know they're, I've got Poppy Parade here. Did I put them in that other basket? Hang on. Let me find them. I kept them for this one. Did you guys see them? Oh, here they are. They were over by my cup. I'm going to take these cute little butterflies and I'm just going to put them right here. Look at how sweet that is. Decorate those insides. You want your... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, hold on. This did not go well. I don't know what just happened there, but my ink, my my glue flew, my card got in the ink. Let's see if I can salvage this. I think I can. <laughs> these are the these are the dangers of stamping. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be able to use this. Don't worry, you guys. We're gonna fix this right up. The, the back, nobody's gonna see, right? Okay. Whew. I already put glue on that piece, so let's try this again. I usually keep some um, pieces cut of Whisper White for the insides of my cards. Let me see if I, yep, I got some right here. Okay, so let's try that again. Uh, basic, or er, Memento Black. Here we go. We're going to do our little butterflies again. We're going to close our ink pads, right? Lesson learned. I'll do it again, don't worry. <laughs> Keeping it real, that's right. You're absolutely right, Jennifer. And you know, these things happen to all of us. Some more than others, I'm talking about myself. <laughs> okay, look it, boom, no big deal. It's just paper. Remember, it's just paper. It's not the end of the world. Oh, I just love this card. So cute. I do have some ink on my fingers someplace though. So what do you guys think? This is called a collar card. And even though we didn't use it like a collar, you could certainly use this for a Father's Day card or any type of a man card, right? Because this can be like a shirt. You can put some buttons there. Um, I chose to use it this way and then I'll show you the other one that I made with the same paper and stamp set. This one goes horizontal, vertical, horizontal. And this one I just put a strip of that pretty paper on the inside of the balmy blue. So what do you guys think? Pretty cute, right? Yeah, I love this. This is called a collar fold, C-O-L-L-A-R. I'm gonna set those down here while I get everything put away. So hang tight. Oh, I don't wanna put the mini glue dots away though, because I'll use those again. 
Let's put away this and this and this. We're gonna need this, so I'm not gonna put that away. I've got I've got one more card for you. Let me clean off this stamp. Yeah, when you use these chamois, you wanna push your stamp into it. I do it, I twist it just a little bit, just like that. Push and twist. This is just a clear case. You can buy, they come a set of four. They're great for a lot of things, so it's good to have them on hand. But get yourself a clear case to just store your chamois in. And now remember, um, I stamp every day. So I'm constantly opening and closing this. But if you were to not stamp for several days on end, I'd probably leave this open so that your chamois can dry out. Um, I have not had any trouble with any of mine getting moldy, but I mean, I don't know, it's just a thing that I think it's probably a good idea to leave it open, right? If you're not gonna stamp for a few days and it'll get all curled up and then you just go throw it in some water and it'll be back to life again and chamois away. <laughs> it's really a, really a very um, useful tool. Oh, look at this. We don't wanna lose that little bugger that back in there okay I don't need this anymore next card who's ready for another card oh yeah Mary Olson says um, extra cases these cases work great for your embellishments too and they do ginger yep I'm with you I I, I have a whole bunch of these chamois in cases for my let me show you what they look like when they're all dried up I have a whole bunch of them for my stamping events, like my card buffet. And so I just open them, I just leave them lay like this, and they all dry out. And you can see they're hard. Yeah, and then when I when I have another stamping event, I'll just take all of these and put them in the sink and plug the sink and it'll fill up with water and they'll absorb the water. I squeeze them out and um, put them in the cases just like this and they're ready to roll. So this is nice and soft. Yeah, it's the weirdest thing. I don't understand how they work, but they do, and I love them. No more chemicals, no more running out of stamp and mist, no more messing around. It's just twist, twist, clean stamp, so that's cool. Let me put these back so they don't fall on the floor and make a big disastrous mess like that. <laughs> I'm winning tonight, I tell ya. Okay, next card. We're going to make a masculine card, and I'm going to show you how to make the wiper card that I got from Cindy Benward. I believe it was last week. So we're going to be making a wiper card with a really cool technique. I struggled with this um, layout for this card earlier today. I did a whole bunch of different things trying to figure out what I was going to do. I hope you like it. Okay, and we're using the Everyday Label Punch. Again, I looked at the label. Thank you very much. That was just the sweetest thing. If you guys missed last week, um, I got a thank you card with a whole set of labels in it for the punches because I always forget what the names of some of these punches are. So, and I think it was Kathy. I hope that's, I hope I'm right about that. Um, Kathy that sent me the labels. I think it was Kathy. And Kathy, if I got your name wrong, I apologize. But I love them. Okay. All the pieces, the bits and pieces. Hang on. So, we are going to be doing a wiper card. And I decided to make this one Tranquil Tide. Now, I have another colored one that I'll show you when we're done. It turned out, I think, pretty cool, too. So, here's our Tranquil Tide. And then I'm just going to get all these pieces out out of the way. Oh, and I need my paper cutter. Here comes the paper cutter. Okay, so Kay says, why do we not use your host code when our order, when we order as a discount shopper? I'm always worried that you do not. Okay, so Kay, if you are a member of my team, you should not be ordering through me. You should be ordering through you, and my host code won't work ordering through when you place your own demonstrator order. So the host code is only for orders that you put in through me. You're on my team. You should be ordering through your own demonstrator ID number, not through me. That's the way that you get your discount. You don't get a discount when you order through me. That's how I get paid is for people to place orders. 
but if you're a discount shopper with me, you're placing your own orders and you're getting that 20% discount. Yes, yeah, stays on. Melanie says stays on doesn't come off without stays on cleaner, and um, you're absolutely correct. Stays on is a bugger, so you don't want to use that um, unless you need it. That's the way I look at it, and I do need it a lot, so it's a it's a must have. But you don't want to be using it for things you don't need it for. Okay, wiper card. We have two pieces of Tranquil Tide, and again, this Tranquil Tide is. Um, Retiring, it's going away. This is perfect Green Bay Packer colors, my Wisconsin people, or out-of-state Packer fans. <laughs> so we're going to score this. And this piece is eight and a half by four and a quarter. You need two of them. We're gonna score it at five and a half and seven. We're gonna do that to both pieces. Five and a half. And seven. Okay, and then there's one more little piece that you need here. This is your little wiper piece, and this piece is three inches by one and a half. And we're going to let me grab a pencil. Where did all my pencils go? Here's a pencil. We are going to take and measure up about, not about, we're going to measure up an inch and a half on this piece. So I'm just going to put a little mark, maybe, there we go, a little mark at an inch and a half. So in the middle, if you do your math right, it is the middle. Where that mark is in this very tip of the wiper piece, we're going to score. So from the, from the, from the corner here up to our mark. Hang on to it. You don't want it moving around in here. There we go. So do you see what I have here? A diagonal, just like that. Okay, now we're ready to start doing some things. This looks complicated. Please stick with me. It is not complicated. It is very, very easy. I'm going to show you the how to put your card together first, and then I'll show you the cool technique that I used on mine because the two really don't have anything to do with the other. This is the wiper card, and then I'm gonna show you a cool technique. So I'm folding this piece over, and I'm gonna now fold this one back. So it's gonna kinda of go like a Z or an N or whatever you wanna call it. Peaks and valleys. So we've got this one, and then we're gonna do the same thing to the other one. We're gonna fold that over, and then we're gonna fold this one back, just like that. Okay, now before we go any further here, we're going to take, well, I need to stamp this. Let me get this stamped first. Um, we're gonna stamp. So this folds like this, we're gonna stamp right here. And I'm gonna bring in a memento ink pad because remember when I said I don't, I don't use stays on unless I have to have it for a certain reason. And for this thing, I do not need stays on. I'm gonna stamp, you jump start my heart. And I just wanna make sure that this is straight. It is on my block. Okay, that looks pretty darn good. So I've got that going on. And then I am going to glue this on here just like this. Okay, so here's our, here's our card. We're gonna glue this right in here on this little diagonal. And I'll hold it still in just a second. I know that was kind of fast, right? So we're gonna go just like this. Put that pretty close to the edge there. Gonna give it a minute. And it looks just like this. Okay, it's in that little area, I guess. Does that make sense? Okay, next. We're gonna take these, both these pieces, and we're gonna put them together just like this, okay? So you need glue on this tab right here. And I just take these two and set them together. Whoops, so they're gonna be even. I just got glue all over the inside. Okay. okay. I just got glue right here. 
I happen to have a glue eraser. We don't sell these anymore, but they're pretty nice. If you have them, you know what I'm talking about. They will get rid of the glue. I think I have a tip coming out on Wednesday that gives you a good tip about if you don't have one of these erasers, what you can use to get the glue off where if it's someplace you don't want it. So watch for that tip video. I haven't tried out the, to make sure it works yet, but I'm gonna do that hopefully tonight. And then you'll, get, you'll see that. I got a little piece of dimensional in there, so I'll just push it in. Okay, the other thing we're gonna do is put some glue right here. Just like that. And then Make sure that the card lines up good. Okay. Now, this is your wiper card. Are you ready? Isn't that cute? Now, it'll take a little bit of finagling. You know, play with it a little bit to get it to go back in there. There, now it's starting to go better. Ha! Everybody loves a card that moves. Okay, now let's decorate this. So what I used to decorate it um, I've got a little strip, and this is three quarters of an inch. It doesn't matter how long it is because we're going to cut it off anyways. I'm going to just ink up the A Classic. So I'm going to grab my Memento ink pad here. And I see that I just got a little bit of ink on this other word, and I don't want any ink there. So let me grab a baby wipe. Of course, they fell down in my container because they, you know, because it's Murphy's Law, that it wouldn't be easy. <laughs> I'm used to all that. Don't worry. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of that ink that was on there. And then I'm going to put a classic. Oh, I got it straight too. So now I'm winning. <laughs> and then we're going to take all these other layers. So I've got this layer and this layer. Oh, I forgot to cut a layer for this. So hang tight for a second. This is going to be really cool. You're going to love it. So this piece was four by four and a half. Is that right? No, it's three and a quarter. Okay, so this piece needs to be three and a half. Oh, that's not going to work. Hang on, people. I thought I had everything ready here. Three and a quarter, so we're going to go with three and a half. Five, four and a half. I think that'll work. Nope. Three and a half. Five, four and three quarters. Take a drink. Break time. As I'm fumbling to get my card stuck here. Three and a half. Five, four and three quarters. Okay, now we're ready. Oh my gosh, what just happened here? Never had that happen. Okay, here we go. So, this white piece is four and a half by three and a quarter. Then I've got black that is four and a quarter by three. That's not right. This is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. This is three and a half by four and three quarters. I wrote it down wrong, so I apologize for that. And we're going to glue both of these together. And this is just the decoration for our wiper card now. Oh, this is our black foil, by the way. Did you guys know that you can still get the black foil sheets? If you go to my online store, you can just look in, um, do a search for foil, and you'll see the black foil sheets. They're pretty cool. We're going to do a little bit of stamping here. I've got Tranquil Tide. And... I am going to stamp my gas can on the bigger white layer. Ooh, that one's got ink on it. Just like that. And then I'm gonna bring in my smoky slate and who knows that this is my favorite, favorite stamp in this set. Is that puff of smoke or it could be oil on the garage floor or whatever you want it to be. It's pretty cool. This is gonna be the back of our card. Now you could put a greeting on here if you know what you wanna use your card for, but I think I'm, I think Steve's not probably watching anymore and I'm going to give this to him as a thank you for fixing 
my truck because I can't tell you how happy I am to have my baby back. Isn't it funny how we get so attached to things? It's a little weird. But I don't care. I love it. I love having it back. I think it drives better than it's ever. Like, it's almost like it's new again. And I don't know why. He did a whole bunch of stuff to it. Like a new radiator and um, a new alternator and belts and pulleys. And I have glue on my fingers. And I guess I can't imagine why I wouldn't. <laughs> see if this works on foil paper. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it works. Okay, so this is the back of our wiper card, you guys. Now we're going to do the cool technique on the front. So what you're going to need is, um, I use champagne here. I've also got a chrome one to show you. But I used our champagne foil paper and the tin tile embossing folder. So I put this... Now you want to put it in with your Stampin' Up! logo here if you want, you know, perfect placement in the middle and that's kind of what I'm going for here. I want it to be straight. So I'm going to run this through the Big Shot. And then you're going to get this. And isn't that oh so pretty? And then I've also got four one inch strips. So these are one by four inch. I think they're one by four. Um, let me think about this a minute. One by, forgot to write it down. Yeah, they're one by four. Okay, these are one by four. I think that's going to be wrong though. It is. They should be one by three and three quarters. So let me cut those. Gosh, just when you think you had it all together and you find out that you didn't, right? It's so frustrating. But... I think you're gonna love the card, so just hang with me a second. Usually not this much of a cluster. Okay, here we go with our cool technique. So here's what we're gonna do. I gotta sit down now. Whew. This is hard work. <clears throat> All this stamping, it's hard work. We're gonna take stays on ink, and you're gonna rub it on your champagne or your copper or your silver or your gold foil paper. Now, we have to use Stazon because this paper is a non-porous surface, and if you use any other kind of black ink that isn't permanent, it won't dry. We're going to do it to the little strips, too. And the Stazon will dry on here because Stazon is a very fast-drying permanent ink. So remember when I said there are certain things you need Stazon for? Well, this is one of those things. And last but not least, you're going to do this to all four strips and the panel for the front. Now you have to make sure that you're keeping your stays on lid closed. And if you want to smell it a little bit, uh, it smells like almond extract. And I think it actually says you're supposed to use it in a well-ventilated area. <laughs> so that could be uh, the source of a lot of my problems. <laughs> no, I don't sit around and sniff stays on, but I do love to smell it when it's... Um, smelling good. This isn't even the right size, but you're going to get the you're going to get the gist of it. I'll have all the right dimensions on my um above the video when we're done. I don't know what happened to my dimensions here, but this was supposed to be a little bit bigger and it's not. But it'll be fine. Okay, so he, see dry. I did get a little bit of ink on my fingers here when I was um spreading the ink out, but yeah, it's all dry already. Okay, and then I've got these are one and a quarter by four inches. Let me make sure these are right. Yeah, these are right. And we're gonna take each one of these little strips. Now, I find that glue isn't probably the best adhesive to use on foil. So I'm gonna bring in my snail tape runner. What's happening here? I got something goofy going on. There we go. And we're gonna add all of these to these black foil panels. What do you guys think so far? Pretty cool, right? Claudia says, isn't it a beautiful day today? Well, it was nice for a little bit here, Claudia. And then it started raining. But at least it was warm and it wasn't snow. So I'll take it. Yeah, I was saying earlier that Steve took his um, bike out for a ride today. He went to see if his golf course was open. <laughs> he 
And they have some carts outside, he reported to me, but I don't know that it's ready to roll yet. And there we go. Now these are all to decorate our wiper card. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to, now we can go back to the glue. This is Whisper White cardstock and the back of the foil paper sticks fine with glue. Make sure I got this the right way. We're gonna put this right here. And remember this piece right here? We're gonna put a dimensional on there but only on one side. So I'm gonna put a dimensional right here. And I'm gonna add this right over to the edge. Oh, look at this is crooked. See, that doesn't really wanna stick. I forgot about that. It will eventually stick when it dries, so don't panic if you use um, glue on the foil paper. It'll be okay. I'm gonna do that. And then I took a scrap of the foil paper and I white embossed it. And this is the car. So my car is shiny black foil paper with white embossing. And I'm gonna add a couple dimensionals to that. Make sure I keep this in my frame. So you guys can see what I'm doing, right? And, oh, Amy says that snail doesn't work gluing foil to foil in her climate. Yeah, you have to do what works for you. And snail works better here than the glue does um, with foil. So that's what I always use. Now I'm gonna just take a little bit of um, my tape runner. I'm gonna add my Mustang right here. And then we're gonna take all of these and we're gonna decorate up these panel sides so that your card is just gonna be out Standing. We've got four of these because we have four of these little panels to decorate. What do you guys think? Is that not like the coolest look? I really like the green. I have a um, different color one to show you in just a second. So I, I was playing around with some different ideas. I also have some different colored cars because I did a whole bunch of things. Like I said, I kind of was struggling a little bit trying to put this all together. And hang on a second, because I'm having a hot flash. <laughs> so I gotta take my little jacket off. Woo! It's getting warm here, Menasha. <laughs> okay, here goes the last one. I just love, love, love this look. Okay, here we go. Check that out. Now, this fits in an envelope. Okay, it's a little thick, but it'll be fine. I don't think it's gonna cost any extra. I love this technique with the ink direct to the foil paper. That's what that is. It's a um, ink direct to paper technique. And then you've got both of those panels. This is like spectacular, isn't it? What do you guys think? Yeah. Okay, let me show you the other things that I made while I was trying to finalize this. So I also used copper on the black foil, and I thought that was pretty cool looking. I was actually going to make a copper card for you with the copper foil, but I only had a little piece of it left. Like all the stuff that I have, the one thing that I need to make a card I ran out of. And here I did copper on blueberry buckle, or blue boy, it's blueberry bushel, but I call it blueberry buckle. And let's see, then I did the same. We've got the white on the foil paper. And then I actually embossed black on the blueberry. And I really kind of like that. That was pretty sweet looking, right? Um, here's my other card. This is the copper with the same ink technique on it. And I used blueberry for my card. You jumpstart my heart. Isn't that pretty? The copper really pops. And then the back, I used blue for the gas can and then the same smoky slate for the smoke. And I didn't put the other panels on here because I was running out of time. Yeah, I was going right up to the wire. And right before I came on live, I had to go eat something because I was really hungry. You don't, want Kel you don't want hungry Kelly trying to make cards for you. Because if you think I made a lot of mistakes tonight, you don't even want to see what that looks like when I don't have any food. <laughs> okay, what do you, which one do you guys like better? 
Do you like the um, Tranquil Tide or the Blueberry? Which one? I love, I, I really am kind of um, thinking I'm liking the green. And the green is retiring. So I better order me some more Tranquil Tide cardstock because that is Packer Green. Yeah. For those of you that don't know what Packer is, our Green Bay Packer football team. It's the team for um, Wisconsin is our professional football team, is our Green Bay Packers. So I know I have some followers kind of all over the world, and you're going, what is she talking about, Packers? Yeah. Okay, so we've got, whoops, both of these wiper cards that were really cool. This was the wiper card that I got in the mail from Cindy. Isn't that just so stinking cute? Yeah. Beautiful. And this uses that needlepoint um, nook, whoops, <laughs> designer series paper too, like the other two cards I made tonight. And then we had these collar cards, which look like a shirt collar. Okay, if you took this out of here, that looked like a shirt collar, right? That's why they call it a collar card. So here's these two. And then we made the super cute layout Oh, I forgot to put the blue bow on this one. I'm going to have to do that with that blue baker's twine because look at, doesn't that really add to it? It's pretty cool, right? Where's the rest of my cards? Hang on. I'm trying to hide. I forgot the, the um, blue baker's twine on there too. And two, actually this is so funny because when Christine stopped by today, I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do for my Facebook Live. So um, this was her layout, like I said, her layout that she had a card and got it from somebody else. Um, she had a collar card using the Butterfly Gala set, so I took that layout idea. And then she had a card that wasn't a wiper card, but it looked pretty much just like this. And I took it and then made it into this. So isn't that funny how we can get really great ideas from um, layouts or techniques or fun folds to do other things, right? Okay, you guys, don't forget, if you head over to my blog, you can always um, add your orders there. I love your orders. Thank you so much. I really appreciate them. They are what keeps the videos coming to you free, keeps me in business, and pays my bills. Um, please use this host code if your order is under $150. If it's over $150, don't use the host code. You will get special perks um, from Stampin' Up. They give you stamping rewards for orders over $150. So I want you to have those rewards. But if your order is under $150, nobody gets anything. So if you use the host code, that's what helps me purchase the gifts that I get to give away for the drawings on my Facebook Lives. And I'm hoping to be live in my Facebook. VIP group um, yet this week before I leave so watch for that I can't guarantee anything because like I said I'm getting a little getting a little behind getting a little crazy here trying to get out of town on Tuesday to go to Minneapolis for our Stampin' Up! on stage event um, so what's your favorite here which card did you like the best We've got the wiper card, we've got the cute layout, and we've got the collar card. I don't know if I can make a choice, but I really am leaning towards this one because I really like this little square with the little, this is our flax ribbon hanging down here. That's in the Occasions Mini Catalog. I just love this card. I think it's so cute. And I could see it done in a variety of different colors. So this would make a great swap card too. We always do card swaps when we go to our stamping events. I have, um, I think, 33 team members that are on my team that are going to on-stage events. One in Raleigh, North Carolina, and the rest of them are going to Minneapolis. I'm so excited for this event. If you would like to be part of something bigger, and if you'd like to get a discount on your Stampin' Up! orders, join my team. It's super fun. It costs $99. You get to order exactly what you want, $125 worth of product of your choice for $99. There's no shipping on that. You do have to pay tax, and you get a paper pumpkin kit, along with some catalogs and order forms if you choose to hand them out to your friends and family, see if they want to order from you. You don't have to. You can get all the information about joining my team, again, on my blog. My blog address is right here. 
On the right hand column, you're going to scroll down until you see $99 kit. Click on that and you'll find all the details. I even have a video there showing you how to order your kit. You can become a discount shopper with me or if you want, you can build a business. But I love all of my team members. I take good care of them and I provide a lot of great stamping information for them. Every Tuesday, I do a question and answer with Kelly on a Facebook Live on my private team Facebook page. So everybody has access to ask me questions that they may be having a problem with or didn't know how to do or wanted to know the best way to do this, that, or the other thing. And um, I really like those question and answers. They're a lot of fun. All right. Did I miss any questions here tonight? I want to know if I missed any questions because, like I said, it's really hard to try and watch questions and stamp and keep keep the things in your head that you need to stay in your head so you don't sound like a bumbling idiot. <laughs> Nobody wants to sound like a bumbling idiot. Um, thank you very much, Arliss. Arliss says she loved all of my demos tonight. Thank you so much. And I'm sure we're going to have a great time on our trip. I'm really looking forward to it. I will be sharing pictures from on stage, Paula, so you don't have to worry about that. I love sharing those. Um, I'm one of those people that I love to go on vacation with people. And I don't mean that in a weird way. I mean, when people go on vacation and they share their pictures on Pinterest or Snapchat, I love seeing their vacations. So when I go someplace, I love to share that with my friends. Um, some people may think it's like, oh, I'm actually traveling again. But you know what? Those people I don't worry about. It's the people who are like, oh, you're having a great time. I'm so happy for you. Because that's the way I feel when somebody goes on a vacation. I'm like, oh my gosh, looks like they are having a blast. How wonderful. So always um, good thoughts coming your way when you're out there on vacation. And I always love to share my vacations too. So... Beth says the blue with the butterfly. Yeah, I really do love this little layout. I love this technique. And the wiper card, of course, is fabulous. And this collar card. So many possibilities with this, right? Lots of good stuff going on there. Um, I will. Don't worry, Mary. I'm going to be sharing pictures from on stage. Yeah, Jennifer loves to travel vicariously. <laughs> I love that. I do too, and I love to travel in real life too, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but I love to travel with other people too, and Lynette just returned from Orange Beach, Alabama, that sounds really pretty and warm, you know, I've never vacationed in Alabama, I don't think, I need to get down there to the southeast side, I've never, um, I've been to Florida lots of times, but not like North Carolina, South Carolina, Alabama, Tennessee, well, I've been to Nashville. We're going to Nashville in um, the end of June for my daughter's bachelorette party. We are headed to Nashville for a long weekend, so that should be fun. Um, Vicki's going to Quebec City, long drive, but she's looking forward to it. Good for you. Oh, did I announce who won? Vicki, did I announce who won the, um, hang on, i got to find my sheet. The online class, remember you guys last week I said that I would give away an online class if we had over 150 um, shares with my video? Vicki, Vicki Brooks, you won. I don't know where I wrote that, but I forgot to write it down here. You won a free online class. So, and Vicki is from Ontario, Canada. Um, go to my blog and look in the right hand column. Go down until you see online classes. Click on that. Tell me which class you would like and I will email it to you. You have to email me your answer so I have your email address just in case I don't. But um, when I did the drawing, I was really excited to that you won because you're in Canada and I know you can't order through me. So that kind of limits you in a lot of ways with me. But you can always get the online classes. So I was happy that you won. Yay, you're welcome, Vicki. So exciting. I'm so sorry. I completely forgot. Here's all my notes. I completely forgot uh, about that little nugget that's kind of important. So thank you guys for your shares. Really appreciate them. They really do a lot for me. And um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. I'm going to sign off now because I have to get my butt in gear and make my online class and my Wednesday video, and my Thursday vlog hop, and my, uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do a Facebook Live next weekend, not live, because I'm going to be gone, so I wouldn't count on it, you guys, but I will be back for sure on the 21st, so just know that. 
Okay. No live next Sunday, but the 21st. Oh, the 20, well, the 21st is Easter. You know what? I'm going to be okay with that because it's nighttime. Most of the festivities happen during the day, and I've done that on holidays, you know, on other holidays where it was a holiday, but then at nighttime, 7 o'clock at night, nobody's really doing anything holiday-y. Um, so thank you for telling me that, Karen. I kind of forgot because I will be, um, pro oh, no, I think I invited my mom here for Easter. So that's even cooler. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. You guys have a fabulous week. And um, stay safe. Make some cards. Share with me what you're making. I love to see all that stuff. All right. I'm going to sign off now. Bye-bye.